uh, yeah, that will come up uh, pretty soon. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is something I briefly mentioned in the last video, which are some other operators with uh, conditional statements. I decided it's really important that I outline them, and um, they can actually be really useful, so it's important that I uh, do address them specifically. Um, so like I said uh, in, in the last video, you can do, uh, you know, stuff like this. And then say, you know, like that. Um, but if you wanted a more complex condition, or actually first, if you want to nullify this um, condition, so you want uh, this to be executed when this is false, this condition in these parentheses, the way that you do that is you use an operator um, called the not operator, which is an exclamation point. So that's going to nullify any boolean. So if, uh, if this is true, then this is going to make the entire condition false. And if this is false, this will make the entire condition true, um, if that kind of makes sense. So usually we would expect 10 is greater than 5. Um, it'll only say 10 is greater than 5 if 10 is greater than 5. But um, since we added this not operator, it's only going to say 10 is greater than 5 if 10 is not greater than 5. So the opposite of what 10, of what the condition really is. So we shouldn't get any output here because um, uh, 10 is greater than 5. So we shouldn't expect anything. Um, but then, if we tried like 10 is less than 5, which it's obviously not, uh, by nullifying that condition, we get a, um, we should get output. So this not operator can be really useful. Uh, one other thing about it is it's also used when you want to say um, does not equal. So if we wanted to say if 10 does not equal 5, you use exclamation point equal sign. You could also go um, not 10 is e equal to 5. That would be equivalent, but it is a little bit easier to type um, just not equals. Um, so a couple of other operators that are important in conditionals are the or operator and the and operator. They're the logical or operator and the logical and operator. Um, the way that those work is say you have two conditions boolean a is 10 is greater than 5 boolean b is going to be um, uh, 3 times 3 is 9 uh, something like that and then you only want this to get executed I'll just have this say um, well I'll change that in a sec if you only want this to get executed when both of these conditions are true so you want um, if a is true and b is true you could do it this way, so if A is true, and then within that block, if B is true, and then you have to make a whole new block, and then here you are in a, uh, this code will get executed if A and B are both true, but that looks kind of ugly and can be a bother to type, so instead you can go if A, and then use the AND operator, which are two uh, ampersands um, and so that means if this condition is true and this condition is true then execute this block so um, that's how that would work so I'll go ahead and see how A and B are both true so there we go indeed 10 is greater than 5 and 3 times 3 is 9 if we said if 3 times 3 is is 12, then we shouldn't expect any output because while A will be true, B will not be true. And this this um, expects, well, this will only get executed if both of these are true. So, yeah, indeed, no output. Um, so the logical OR operator is um, pretty intuitive. It's, well, it's these two pipes, which are, um, if you don't know where those are, they're kind of beneath your delete or backspace key and kind of above your enter or return key. Um, they're shift and uh, this slash this slash here. 
um, if you hold shift and push that button you get the pipe um, it's very uncommon character but it's used for your or operator so the way this works is this will get executed if a is true or if b is true so in this case um, let's say one of a or b is true or I'll say oops either a or b is true um, so this we should expect that output because um, while b is not true a is true so um, that's how the or operator works um, pretty simple stuff you can make these uh, if uh, conditions as complicated as you want so you could make this um, a and b is not true and then uh, you know a is true and b is not true or uh, uh, B is true and A is not true um, then execute this box so these can get pretty um, uh, pretty crazy uh, it's up to you for how crazy you want to make them sometimes when you get really complicated stuff like this it's helpful to write out a comment to say um, you know well it's best when you have context so this would be like if the user pushed uh, C and um, the uh, enemy's health is below 30 or something you know some kind of uh, English representation of this condition because then when you're reading through this you don't have to try to decipher this you can just oh I see this is gonna happen when the user push push C and the enemy's health is below 30 so uh, even though you can make these really complex uh, conditions they could have pretty simple English um, representations um, I think that's it for this video. Uh, that'll wrap it up for today. Uh, hopefully that'll have uh, cleared some stuff up that I may have mentioned before but not really talked about in detail. Um, so I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.